Are you ready to go on our backpacking trip? Our first backpacking trip 2021. <laughs> Bailey's ready. Jane is like, what are we doing? We're going out in the cold? She's losing her mom. <laughs> I want to go backpacking. Come on, Jaden. Beautiful sunrise. Good day for hiking in January. Are we almost there yet? <laughs> Hello, I'm David Gray, and uh, the dogs and I are on the road for the first backpacking trip of the 2021 season. It's the middle of January, which makes it the middle of winter, and uh, winter backpacking and I usually are never mentioned in the same sentence, but I did get three trips in last year in January and February, and I'm really glad I did because the whole COVID thing kind of disrupted the entire backpacking season, so figured I'd get 2021 started early. We're heading to the land between the lakes National Recreation Area near Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, you may recall that I just published a video from uh, fall of 2012, I think, where I did a trip down there with Jade and didn't go so well. So I've always wanted to get back, kind of redo that trip, and uh, just coincidentally, all things outdoors, Jeremy was planning a trip down there, so I sort of invited myself along. This one's gonna seem almost like that Ohio YouTube meetup group trip that we did back in November of 2019. There are gonna be a bunch of YouTubers on this trip. All things outdoors, uh, backpacking with Jason, Jeremy Stringer hikes, the world according to GOAT, hunter trips, uh, restless outdoors, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a few or don't even know everybody's gonna be there, but I'll put all of their channel links down in the comments so you can take a look at their videos. But there is no doubt that there will be a lot of cameras out on this trip and a lot of video opportunities to see what we're gonna experience the next few days. Weather-wise, well, the temperatures are going to be a little chillier than I would prefer on my trips, but for a mid-January trip in the Midwest, I don't think we can get much better weather than what we're going to have. Temperatures are going to be in the low 40s for highs, uh, getting down to 22 tonight, so that's going to be the coldest night. But we've got lots of sunshine the first two days that we're hiking and a possibility of rain the third day, but I don't think it's going to come in until after we get done. So for a winter trip, you couldn't really ask for much more than that. With that, let's get on down to the Land Between the Lakes Recreation Area near Paducah, Kentucky and get this first hike of 2021 started. out uh, we're staying at a car campground the second night and uh, there's not a lot of firewood there so Jeremy I talked to Jeremy he asked me if I could try to find a bundle of firewood so <laughs> and one of those fortuitous things where normally you buy like a little bundle for five bucks or whatever got eight cubic feet of firewood for $27 and I want to show you what my car looks like there's firewood there's firewood there's an anxious dog who wants to go hiking Firewood over there. <laughs> you can't see it back there, but the whole truck, whole truck, every every nook and cranny is stuffed with firewood. So I think I can honestly say we're not gonna have any shortage of firewood that second night at the car camp. <laughs> so it should be quite an epic night. <laughs> the dogs are happy. Are you happy now, Bailey? Hi. Oh hi. Lance? Hey, David. Hey, you doing, man? Nice good. to meet you. Hey, dude, I'm Jonathan. Hi. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. David, I'm Hunter. Nice to Hi, meet Hunter. you. Hi, Hunter. Nice camera. Thank you. I have a Z50. Is that a Z6? Yep, that's a oh, Z6. Oh, well, it'll work perfect. There you then. go. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be out of the car. How are you, oh, Jeremy? I'm good, man. It's good to see you. Good to see you guys. Oh, man. It's like, it's like the Ohio YouTube meetup group it all is, over again. It is. Hey, how you doing? Hey, David you doing? Nice Good, to meet you. David. Holy cow, look at you, man. You're all like hey. dapper and everything. Oh my god, last time oh. I see you. 
Oh, you oh my he's God. the good dog. Hey. You'll learn real quick, he's the good dog, oh, and she's yeah. not. Oh, <laughs> Baby, are you excited to hike? <laughs> uh, heading back over to the North Welcome Center now. All the cars are parked. This is where we'll end up. What do you think, Jaden? <laughs> okay, we got the walkie talkies right here. Someone filming me right now. Well, see, that of way I don't I'm... have to do my own yeah, intro. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Finally, look who shows up here, guys. <laughs> Mr. David Gray himself. Wouldn't miss it. Wow, the Andy got your pop ups here. How are you doing, guys? I just love winter backpacking. Oh. We're at the North Welcome yeah, Center right there. And we are going down to Sugar Bay. That's where the cars are parked along the North South Trail. And you can see it goes all the way the whole length of the thing, but that's. That's the land between the lakes. We are hiking. Man, is it gorgeous for mid-January. It's got to be 50-something. No wind. I, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Pretty much anything. Snow, rain, cold. I wasn't expecting this. We haven't seen the sunshine in a while, and we don't oftentimes in the wintertime in the Midwest. And uh, we're going to have two perfect days here. <laughs> I'll take that. This is what we're hiking in. And I didn't remember any terrain. <laughs> so it tells you my recollection of this hike was a little faulty. That's what it looks like when we're hiking. I don't know why we would go this way. Let's turn around and go back. Okay. All right, so uh, we made it, what, how far? Uh, maybe about 10 feet. <laughs> about 100 feet. Okay, do we see a common denominator here? Red River Gorge, we got off trail, and I think it was Jason leading the way. <laughs> so we're we're 200 yards into the hike and we're lost. Good thing we could see the cars or we really would have got lost. Bailey goes, I don't care as long as we're walking. We can go anywhere you guys want. Oh boy, we made it back to the cars. <laughs> we'll just go find the right trail. Get started again. Now, now we're actually the way, in the parking lot, <laughs> trying you to figure out where we are. Five miles. <laughs> 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 Got a consensus? <laughs> I've never, I've never gotten lost twice right out of the parking lot. What do you think, Jaden? Because I don't know if I want to go with There's you guys. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> That's the whole adventure, man. All right. This is the trail. I'll be there. I'm just ready to go. We're not off to a real great start yeah. here. I'm a good <laughs> Amazing. They think it's up there. So that is an old connector trail. That's what that is. All right, I think it's time for me to pull my map out. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> now I think we're finally on the right trail. <laughs> That was not the greatest start, but I got to <laughs> Well, that was the alternate connector trail path. <laughs> this was the real path. He's entangled in some vines. Lance, you go that way. <laughs> trail's right here. Straight in front of you, man. Now we're on the right trail. A little bit more terrain here than I remember. <laughs> I just remember it being flat, but uh, not so far. Our first good view of the lake. Finally on a real trail, we'll make a little progress. You can see the sun doesn't get real high up in the air. January backpacking trips. Beautiful yeah, spot for a campsite. Well, Bailey decided to cool off in the lake. <laughs> Jaden is too, but look at this. I remember this spot from 2012. The water is a heck of a lot lower than it was back then. This was that big first picnic area. Well, this is what we've been hiking in pretty much the whole time, except when we've been down on the lake, which surprisingly really hasn't been that much. I remember when I was here last time, 2012, I spent a lot more time on the lake. I think they may have rerouted the trail inland a little more, maybe for shore erosion or who knows what. Now we're coming up on Brown Brown Spring, I think it's called. It's the last water source for a while because then the trail does go inland. And when it comes out, we'll be on Pisgah Bay. And there will definitely be water there because it's right 
on the water. So halfway for the day, two and a half miles to go, I'm guessing maybe three. Came upon a funky mushroom. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will help me with that, but I don't know what that is. Huh. But, nice excuse to stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely on the uh, inland portion of the trip here. We spend a couple miles probably going inland and then right over here. That's Pisca Bay, that's where we're gonna camp. We're at five miles for the day, a little more than that, and I think we've still got a couple miles to go. Pretty little spot, these pine trees. Lighting is really cool. Wintertime lighting late in the day. Sun is definitely getting lower in the sky. It's three o'clock. But we're getting closer to the water, I think, and our campsite. Have you ever tried drop time? No. We have arrived on Pisgah Bay. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really nice here. Now we're looking for a campsite mode. There's tons of possible spots, but I know Carl was here back last October and scoped out a spot for us and that's where we're heading to. We're almost done. Getting there. Feel good to be in camp. We have made it to camp for the night. I think this is going to be it. This is uh, Pisca Bay right down here. And we got a nice spot with all kinds of flat spots and soft spots and a little log we can make a fire ring there and plenty of rocks we can use for the fire ring. So I think this is camp for the night and I think right here is going to be my camp for the night. I'm pretty tired for what was supposed to be a short day and my legs are pretty spent. I haven't done, I realized I haven't done any hiking over five miles since I hurt my knee last summer. My knees are telling me we need to do some more training. <laughs> get Bailey's pack off and get stuff set up or at least get started that way. <laughs> you guys want a milk bone? You want a milk bone? You guys were very good. Very good today. What do you think, Bailey? Oh, my the bad? Gucci's face to take a nap. Oh, no, no. no, come on. Oh, oh. We're making friends over here and teaching Bailey to take it really nice and gentle. Jane's always a good dog. Neo Air Mini is missing the lid thanks to a few melting episodes, but it still works just fine. <laughs> Gotta take the batteries out every time I don't use it though. Sure makes this chore a lot easier. Disney bought, Disney bought ESPN. Bailey's on the point. <laughs> We've already gave him a fleety already. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this while you eat your dog food. You gonna share your dog food with me? She'll share. You gotta be quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so nice. Bought like a like brand new, never been slept in. He's the first one hard shell. Oh, nice, nice. But I'm gonna try to take Jason and Dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because she's like luxury, luxury. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it makes a big difference, man. Get on there. So get on there to watch it, so he has to call me. <laughs> David, don't you feed these guys? <laughs> I haven't, actually. <laughs> well, it's only 5.30. They don't eat till 6. Oh, man. It's only 5.30. Yeah. The doggies can't read time, so they go by their tummy pain. Alpha. Don't make my plate. So I emailed two packs. I go, hey, you got an extra duplex I can run over? They sent one to me. No, <laughs> did you run over? No, because I was going to oh, run over. Place in Georgia, you can yeah, get right the tank over there. There's just a dead carpet. Wow, that's what that's I was going to do. You can run a tank for seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars, and you can actually shoot uh, like a, there's a fifty caliber machine gun on top. That would be worth. Is that crazy? Absolutely be worth. Anybody want a chunk of this? Anybody want to try this? So that was already cooked and then you just heat it, it up. up. Oh my god, is that good? That's a great idea. Wow, listen, like a quarter you break the saw. <laughs> Dave, grab one more if you want. His backpack fully loaded out. I may have one later if nobody else needs some. I held it. Well, you'll be happy to know it's almost seven o'clock. Are we serious really? with the Central It's only 7? This is where we're at Central. 6.45. Yeah. Get out of here. I'll never be bothered. You got to get the shot. You know? Yeah. 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 Here, I'll get them. Because they're starving. Yeah. They look at it. They are. <laughs> well, you can tell Bailey, she's getting ready to dwindle away to nothing. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, she's off of skiing. Nice. Be nice. They might be nice. Come on, Jay. Oh, perfect, guys. Thank you. I don't want to have to carry this. Yeah. Anybody else want more no, Eagle Rare or to try? So that was the frat party you guys were telling me about. Oh, oh my yeah, God. that was fun, man. I didn't, almost didn't survive that. Was <laughs> I remember the thing I was going to do for my last trip. So bad this year, year, have like the batteries in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been fun. This is a good year, a way to kick off the year. Oh, oh yeah. It's just Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we got another good day coming up tomorrow. It's even better. Well, that isn't where we were going to camp. No, no, it wasn't, no. no. We were going to camp on the bay itself on the trail. Yeah, right. this yeah. is way better. No, I think this is a good plan. Yeah. And then, plus, it's like right at your car, so if it does start raining early. Plus, I have a big cooler beer, and I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm guessing a few other people do. Oh, we all got Well, beer. we did. Yeah, we so did until last night. So, but I can guarantee we won't run out of firewood uh -huh. in the last No, night. that was That's hilarious. hilarious. I got eight cubic feet of firewood <laughs> inside my car, <laughs> the entire interior of the car <laughs> and trunk, every space yeah. available is full. We're going to make it. awesome, dude. We got gas. So we will started. not run out of <laughs> yeah. firewood. If we do, it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you see Darwin uses that bidet. It's like I you, use a bidet. It's great. I you use put bidet it on your every water, day. Your water, but you put it on your water bottle? Yes. Yeah. You put it up your... You don't put it under you, know, oh, it starts no, 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 back, no. like behind you at an angle. Right. What no. happens when What's you feel drips of water on your hand? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what you doing? <laughs> Sorry, man. You I got to take over. I'm cutting wood. I'm the fire's about to go up. Real We're going into the uh, bonfire <laughs> mode here, I think. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nice. that should burn. Yeah. You know, you could actually do it in a day, even at a fast-paced walk. Yeah, it's just Where are you brutal. talking about? The uh, Triple Crown. The Triple Crown in Virginia. It's, I mean, it's what, 28 miles? It's a little longer, 30 maybe. Dude, Dragon Tooth was a bitch, man. Yeah. David's like, nothing's a bitch anymore compared to the Dak. No. <laughs> that is true. You ride a motorcycle, Jeremiah? Yeah. What do you ride? Sports, too. Look at you. Nice. You do? Really? Yeah. 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 I ride that on my girl bike. That didn't sound country to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have coyotes. Wow, wow dude. You know, they just take care of the thing, and I didn't, really, didn't even know Jeremiah. There they are. We was all around. Guys, I said, hey, Jeremiah. Rules? Coyote. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. He's like, oh. yeah, what, what's up? I said, how come you hate all the Ohio YouTube? <laughs> I heard it at Adirondacks. Like, so I don't hate him, man. Uh, what are you that talking about? I don't hate him. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I just said yeah, 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 let's get David live streaming. All right, here we go. hundred percent. How do you do it? I have no idea. Oh, my God. So how do you how do you do it? Just go to your YouTube app. Yeah, this is right. going to be great. Not this right is now, right? Be great. This is probably not going to go well. <laughs> oh, here we go. There you go. Oh, now we're live. Right? We're oh, live. David Gray. Yes. David Effin. Look at that game. He went to Austin. Yeah. Going down way lower than that. Oh, Timmy. What's going on, guys? Timmy, we're going to pass the phone along. Here we go. Take the phone. 
this is backpacking with Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you got one match. Uh, oh, Catherine Gregory's on there. Catherine <laughs> Gregory, what's Gregory, up? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hi, Catherine Gregory. <laughs> You're covering up the camera with your hands. Oh, hand. you still do that. You still do that. Oh, Miyagi! Oh, oh, Miyagi! Oh, 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 I want to see Miyagi. Yeah, look at Miyagi. Miyagi. <laughs> Miyagi, I'm sleeping in my hammock tonight that you made me, man. Pride of Kentucky. Go Miyagi cats. Miyagi is the man. Go cats. Land between the legs, oh, and we're having a fantastic time. Go slide, yeah, and we have a fire going on. It was, it was so cold, I got in my truck and turned the heat on full blast. Yeah. And just like watch the Netflix special, and then I went and got my hammock. There's more wood on there, Restless. Okay, yes, sir. How do you say your last name? Z. Outdoors. Outdoors. Thank you. <laughs> Your name's like uh, Adam uh, Zekovsky. Zelenevsky. Zelenevsky. Man, that's really Polish. Oh, yeah. You both, can't my, tell. both my parents you came from tell. Poland, man. I'm the first generation. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to uh, day number two of the trip. And if you're ever wondering how you figure out whether it's really cold in the morning, when the lake you're using as your water source is frozen, <laughs> it is cold this morning. Around 20, which is uh, maybe not the coldest I've ever around been out backpacking, but certainly colder than I ever want to be out backpacking. Holy smokes, check this out. What a glorious morning in Kentucky, in the land between the lakes. And I will feel even more glorious once I get a little Dunkin' Donuts coffee in me and start getting warmed up. Let's get going, day number two. Which we do to <laughs> Yeah, I, I put mine with me too. I like yeah. to put air in it, that way I don't, it helps so you don't crush it a little bit. Well, that's a good idea. Negative team. It looks cold right there. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Yeah, yeah but we got the fire to keep them warm. You're getting caps to that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it up. Yeah. Oh, you do eggs too? That's <laughs> My hot hand. He needs a dull food. Not after that live stream last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was right out the window. It's already got over 300 views, Jeremiah. <laughs> and just a hike up there. Yeah. Then defeated. Yeah. Walking back. Yeah. And to the altitude, I guess, got him. Yeah, yeah. He told me he's about ready at the 911. No sh. Really? I would have been like, no. That's expensive. That would be like, yeah. Come a little closer to the We're camera like for the Dunkin' Donuts coffee this morning and a <laughs> land between the lakes. A little bit of a brisk okay. morning, but then it right should after help. He got okay. Uh, that Adam, he yeah. starts throwing mm. up. He, he had a oh, snow man, that's good. <laughs> fell out. It's so cold. Oh, man. You know it's cold so when your water source is frozen. Yeah. you got to be a little creative to get some water in the morning, but put it to good use. But he got hurt, right? Uh, no, it was my winter coat. Just a cold in the arm. What is that? My buddy brings uh, is... like the Starbucks smoke Matcha green tea. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That sounds yeah, delicious. It's really good. It's really good. It's got a whole bunch of good stuff in there. That is really Man, green. I it's don't super warm. It's like uh, <laughs> green tea ground up. No, Real fine. Where'd the land go? Poop. Plant. Poop. Not land. Did you go to poop? Oh, I thought you were saying poop. Breakfast this morning is honey bunches of oats with meat oat and some Quaker oat squares I threw in there for a little variety. They're so warm, yeah. If I have yeah. the shell, put the cold on it. Mm. But once we get moving, I'll be like, all right. It's so good. So easy. Yeah. Bailey wants some. <laughs> That's the caveat to not taking a lot. Of Free range, and mm -hmm. and because it's grass fed, you can almost it's almost sweeter. So what is this? <laughs> Porta privy. Porta privy. Yeah. And we're gonna use it right there. <laughs> we're not gonna use it right here. The fire pit right there. I'm just showing you. No way. Look. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Seems like that would do the job. Here's your pee-pee right here. Yeah. <laughs> Poo-poo right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey baby! Hey baby! I'll help! I'll help! I'll help. I need a butt scratch. Well, I'll help with the porta privy. You can also use it just as a hammock chair. Yeah, I, that that's kind of cool. Just to have a chair. I like that. What do you think, baby? You just want to get hiking, don't you? Hiking or sleeping? <laughs> One or the other. Well, we are packed up and sort of ready to go. Well, I'll tell you what, even though the sun's up, there's a breeze that's coming like right off that lake and it is cold. <laughs> so I am more than ready to get rolling here just to get some heat going. It's still probably in the upper 20s, low 30s. A little action in camp here. Some morning hikers and their dogs. Gonna get rolling. Day number two, beautiful day. A little cooler than yesterday, so I've got some more clothes on, but uh, we'll get it rolling here and get warmed up. Here's what we're hiking in so far this morning. Right along the lake, nice cool breeze, <laughs> to say the very least. It's a little chilly, but it's flat and we're getting warmed up. We turned inland there for a while off of Pisgah Bay. And uh, once you get off the lake, really peaceful and no wind. And the temperature feels, perceived temperature is probably about 15 degrees warmer. Pretty comfortable, just beautiful in the woods this morning. About 11 mile day, all the way back to Sugar Bay in the car. We should be there probably early mid afternoon. And then we got another feast and festival tonight at the cars. hiking in pretty much the whole time. Reminds me an awful lot of hiking in Indiana. The other thing is it is sure different hiking in the winter. The light is really low to the horizon. The shadows are long even in prime time daylight. Whole different experience than summertime hiking. Look at this. Nice open field. I remember when Jaden and I hiked this in 2012 we had this was all our day one stuff <laughs> putting in some miles and couldn't find a campsite or water but i almost camped right by this bridge but well, check out this bridge somebody built <laughs> that is one fancy bridge out in the middle of nowhere i still haven't found a camp spot <laughs> looks like we're in kind of a more open area maybe there's a big cornfield over here we could throw something down on the edge of this field but i'm picky i want a nice spot so does Jaden. Actually, I think Jaden just wants to stop. Oh, it'd be nice if there were some camp spots around it with fire rings and everything, but nothing yet. There is like no water and no campsites on this trail. We kept going and going and going and going. Yeah, it was a long day. <laughs> a cool little spot. We're probably at about six miles for the day. There's not a lot of topography here, but whatever there is, we're on the very top of it right now. This is kind of a cool little area. Yeah. When you, uh, you've been in the woods the whole time and you come out on a open spot like this, like, whoa, that's pretty neat. A little watering spot for the doggies. Don't get that jacket wet, Jaden. He usually lays down in it, so maybe he knows. Well, I'm now filming with my iPhone. <laughs> little issue with my Nikkor Z lens. The uh, front of the lens and the back of the lens is just kind of separated. And it still seems to work, but I don't trust that it's in focus or the focus is even working. I'm going to switch over <laughs> to the phone and finish the trip with that. So sorry about that. It's just safer doing it this way. We're almost to second night's camp, maybe a couple miles to go. We've reached Sugar Bay, very dry Sugar Bay. <laughs> we go along the shore here for a while, then inland, and then our car's parked on that water somewhere up ahead. A little terrain here at the end. I don't know if you can see it off in the distance, but 
that is the road up to the campsite. That's a nice site right now. We still got that gnarly little walk, road walk up to the campsite or at the bottom. <laughs> so one last little fun thing to do. One last little bit of work here before we arrive at camp. Made it back to the cars and our campsite for tonight. Looks like Restless is already set up. We all made it to camp, That's night number okay. two. Jade is snoozing no, I, I on the table there with his down blanket on. Nice and toasty. These guys, like God. Well, here's the scene on my iPhone, because it's all I have left. Like the same thing we're like, yeah. Another nice scene <laughs> to end the trip. But the one thing I will say is, it's a lot colder than you would think. I was thinking it was going to be like yesterday, which was near 50 and just a lot more mild type feel to it. Today was polar air type feel to it. So it was in the low 40s with a pretty decent breeze and we still have that we you might notice we're like a little bit downhill the breeze is coming from up there down here kind of hard to even describe it but it is canadian winter air it's only about 5 20 or so even though it looks like it's about nine o'clock at night <laughs> winter time backpacking for you good crew of people we're having a good time it's been a good trip so should be a good night all right <laughs> it's a little little treat that Carl turned me on to. These are the uh, single Spam Single Classic. I don't know if I'd actually call this real food, but not something you'd eat normally, but in this setting, uh, it's not bad. Here, let's uh, put these over here. Yeah, okay. You might have guessed I don't have a proper utensil to flip these things over with. How's that look, huh? Smelling pretty good, too. And then I've got this uh, Founders All Day IPA that we're going to have it with. Spam. Founders IPA. Party by the fire. <laughs> Not a bad last night. <laughs> Try a first first bite if I can figure out how to do this without knocking the pan over. It's not like filet mignon where you could cut it with a fork, but here we go. Oh, man. Man, that is so good. Not over the fire. It's better over the fire when you get that smoke flavor in there, but I think it's better from the can when you slice it up yourself. These are the single slices, and I think they do something different in them, but uh, still not bad. Spam with... Uh, our Founders IPA. Just your normal backpacking trip. <laughs> all right, here's what's going on over here. We're, uh, we're all watching the Kentucky game. We got a few Kentucky guys here. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, I didn't have gloves. I think I had a leather jacket. That was it. Offensive fail. So there you have it. The uh, Lamb Between the Lakes, January 2021 version, is in the books. Uh, temperatures maybe were a little bit chillier than my comfort level, but we had uh, two beautiful sunny days to hike in. Great group of hikers, and overall just a uh, fantastic way to get the 2021 season started. It was a little chilly, and that was a lot of miles on the second day, I think around 13 or 14, but it was still a great hike.